Hey, what's up guys? My name is Stuart Rees. I am a guitarist and a singer, a full-time musician, and tonight I am going to check out the Bose S1 Pro. This little sucker over here. At one of my gigs, I am playing at a place called the Salo Hotel, which is at the waterfronts in beautiful Cape Town, South Africa. And when I'm done, I'm going to give you my opinion on whether or not this little speaker can handle, let's call it your typical restaurant gig for the singer-songwriter. Alright, so I made it, so I'm here. Um, let me mention loading was very easy. I did everything in one trip from my car, which is unusual and really helps when you're six floors up. Um, here's my little setup. At the back here, behind me there's Table Mountain. Now you can't see it. I can't even see it. The clouds are covering it. Um, I'll try to get a picture for you later. Otherwise, just Google a picture. Um, and what I've done basically with my EQ, yeah, I don't know if you can see that. What I've done is I've just boosted a little bit of treble and cut a little bit of lows on my voice. Uh, I've left the guitar completely flat. Uh, if you look at those volume knobs as well, I'm not really pushing it, um, but it's more than enough for this space, which is pretty cool because uh, when I got here, the manager told me he wants me to do a set outside um, and then move inside. So this setup here, let me get it all in. That's my setup, three minutes. Um, pretty cool, all battery powered, no power out here. Um, I'm gonna try run this tonight on this battery. It says six hours, we'll check. Um, I'm also using a little loop station down here. Um, unplugged it now, it's also running on batteries. Uh, yeah, and just a normal dynamic mic. I'm using a Bay Dynamic V35. I had to borrow this um, because one thing this speaker doesn't have is phantom power. Uh, the microphone that I use requires phantom, um, or the microphone that I usually use. Sure Beta 87A. Ooh, that's a very nice mic, um, but requires phantom. So I'll try to set this camera up and uh, record some of the songs. And bear in mind it's a cell phone, so it might not be the most accurate sound, but uh, hopefully, hopefully you'll get an idea of how it throws. For this space that I'm in now, more than enough. More, more than enough. All right, for those of you that aren't from South Africa or Cape Town, Table Mountain is there in the background, plus a cloud. I'm jamming down there. Uh, yeah, like I said, the speaker seems to fill the whole space during a sound check, but uh, we'll see when some people come in and see if we have to turn it up or check it out. Hey little girl, is your daddy on? Did he go and leave you all alone? I got a bad desire.
you feel the same way Cause I want you bad Yeah, I want you baby Small, small hands Like sweat dripping down after your laundry No, no chance That I'm leaving here without you Oh me, I, I know Yeah, I already know that there ain't no stopping Alright, so I'm done. I'll give you my thoughts and opinions once I finish packing up. Um, it's quite a fancy jaw this. I couldn't really put my tripod at the back of the restaurant, but just to give you an idea of the size of the place. That corner down there, and then that corner down there. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see that really well. But uh, about 50 to 60 people here. Yeah. Uh, give you my opinion later, but I'm very, very impressed. Okay, so I'm home now and I thought about it on the drive. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it and you can form your own opinion from there. Um, that being said, let me mention that this is my opinion and you might disagree with me. Um, but this is based on my experience as a full-time musician. Um, I write and I perform my own stuff, but I probably earn 80% of my income by playing covers at weddings, private functions, uh, restaurants. So I'm really talking from the point of view of the working musician that has to slog it out, take his own gear, play three to four sets of covers. Um, you got to know a lot more than Wonderwall, put it that way. Um, and I'm talking from that point of view and let me start by saying that this is lightweight, easy to set up and it's very quick to get a decent sound in EQ. Uh, as you saw the mixer is built into the speaker, into the speaker cabinet and it's got battery. Um, so you literally just need two cables, one for your microphone, one for your guitar or your keyboard. Um, it's truly effortless. Um, and on the mixer, there is reverb. I didn't mention it when I showed you my mix, but the reverb is fantastic. Uh, personally, I don't like a lot of verb, but I dialed it to about a quarter of the way up on both the guitar and uh, the vocal, and I thought it was perfect. Uh, Bose, well done there. Um, while I'm on the mixer, I must mention the tone match, not a big fan. Uh, I tried it on the acoustic guitar, but it felt like it made the guitar a bit thin, uh, a little bit twangy, so I left it off. I actually left the EQ completely flat for the guitar uh, the whole night, and I thought it sounded fantastic. It was big, it was warm, um, it was clear. The voice, I also tried the tone match on the voice, didn't like it either. Felt it made the voice a bit thin. What I did do EQ wise, I did roll out a little bit of the lows and boost a little bit of the highs um, and it made the voice pop really nicely. Um, moving on uh, to the venue that I was in was a weird shape. It was like kind of like a triangle. I was in the corner. I've got to I've got to mention this thing has got so much presence and so much throw, it fill, filled the whole venue and that surprised me for such a small speaker. Um, I'm not a fan of acoustic guitar amplifiers, especially ones that you can plug a microphone into and you can sing through. I've always found it to sound a little bit boxy. It doesn't matter what you do to the EQ, when you sing through that acoustic amp, it doesn't sound that great. Um, but this small little speaker sounds fantastic. Uh, it sounds like a PA system. Um, you wouldn't say you're singing through something so small, um, which is so surprising for me. Um, I, I loop, I play acoustic guitar and, uh, and I sing and I loop as well. I've got some pre-recorded loops on my loop station and then I also like to bang the guitar a little bit. So this brings me to a point that Bose is notoriously uh, known for and that is the lack of low end. Uh, for guitar and vocal, perfect. Um, but when I tried to, when I tried to build a, a beat or I played one of my kick drum sounds like loops, um, 
it, it just wasn't happening. The speaker was bothering me out at a very low volume, so eventually I just thought, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I did record uh, some rhythms and I did some improvisation over that, which was fine. Um, but if you are going to be banging on your guitar or if you wanna sing with backtracks, I don't think one is gonna cut it. Maybe two, I would like to hear two um, together as a pair. Um, but I, I think even two is gonna struggle on that low end. The speaker diaphragm is just too small. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry Bose to say this, but you guys still suck with your low end. Um, except for the F1. I did once play a gig through the Bose F1 and that was super. But the L1 Compact and this S1, that's my only crit. Um, so all in all, I think it's a fantastic, fantastic option. Um, it's not gonna work for every gig. The gig that I played now was a typical restaurant, it was background music. You know how it goes, um, type of gig where the musician is there to be seen, not really heard. Just all kinds of messed up, but that's just how it goes in our industry sometimes. Um, for that type of gig, perfect. I think like a wedding, wedding uh, cocktail hours after the ceremony or, or playing a walk-in song for a bride, Perfect. You're not, you're not going to need more power than that. If you're doing a show for 100 people, two of these, you might struggle. Um, one of these wouldn't cut it. Uh, again, this is just my opinion. Um, fantastic piece of gear. I'm glad I own it and I'm probably going to use it a lot more than my column array. Uh, purely because it's just so quick and easy to set up. So in summary, I think it is a fantastic piece of gear, easy to use, lightweight, um, and it just, it sounds world class. It is world class, Bose. Um, well done, guys. I hope this gave you a little bit of insight into it. Um, if you have any questions, you're welcome to ask, and I'll do my best to answer them for you. But good luck to all you musicians out there. I would say treat yourself to a nice light piece of gear. Um, and you'll be surprised. It sounds really, really good. I'm out. Cheers.